I'm Elliot Reeder here with Mississippi College women's soccer head coach Daryl Longmore, head coach of the number 19th ranked Lady Choctaws. Coach, this past weekend, y'all had a rough outing on Friday, but y'all were yeah. able to bounce back on Sunday with a big win. Can you just talk to me about this past weekend, what happened on Friday, and then how y'all were able to bounce back for Sunday? Yeah, Friday. Um, Friday was a it was a big big game. It was probably the second biggest game we've had. You know, the first game was in Columbus uh, against Columbus State. And so that was, that was a good, you know, that wasn't a good game for us either. We just, things just rolled against us on that one. But against Lee, um, they really are a good quality, high, you know, high level team. And they came out ready to go. And I think they just kind of caught us off guard early. And then we hung in with them and, and battled with them. And then in the second half, we battled even harder. So we were pushing a little bit more. We were out shooting them. We were out possessing them. But then because we are pushed forward and we've got numbers forward, they got a quick counter on us and that's how they got the second goal to make it two to nothing. Um, I thought uh, they, they did a good job. I thought our girls really battled hard in the second half to get it back and we just couldn't find the back of the net. We just, it was one of those days. Um, so we had a day off and then came back uh, to Rome, Georgia to face Shorter. Shorter's a young team, so they were uh, a little bit of inexperience, but you know, there's some, there's some decent talent there and, and our girls just put it all together. Um, I mean, I, you know, Aaron got the thing started with two quick goals, got a PK right at the beginning, finished it and then got another goal and then Beatrice Curry came in, topped it off with two more goals. One in the second half was absolutely gorgeous upper 90 from you know the corner of the 18 but the girls we settled we played our game we moved the ball well um, so it was a good rebound game for us and the score really reflected you know the uh, the way we could play so this coming up weekend I've got two big conference matches mm -hmm. uh, Alabama Huntsville on Friday and then West Alabama on Sunday can you just talk to me about looking forward to this weekend what do y'all need to do to, to get two, two big results this weekend? Uh, again, 100% uh, is we play our game. We play our, our style of game. We keep the ball on the, on the ground. We move the ball quickly. Um, we find the gaps and the holes in the, in the line and let our forwards do the work. Um, we've got a couple of really good uh, finishers. Uh, we've got some injuries coming into this weekend, so we're going to have to you know, kind of move some things around. But it's a matter of us playing our game not about playing against the other team, it's just us playing our game, not worrying about what they do, we'll take care of that. We'll be able to handle it because of what we do in, in our style. The possession of the game, they have to chase us more than we have to run around and worry about what they're doing. Um, but they're both very good teams and it's gonna have to, we're gonna have to be focused and we're gonna have to put forth the effort the entire time. And, and I think we can do it without a, without a doubt, I think, uh, we can take both these games this weekend and, you know, I mean, we lost twice last year to, to West Al and I think, um, you know, that's going to be something that, that we're going to have to think about before that game. So looking back at, on s Sunday, y'all were able, and especially in the second half, to get a lot of girls into the game that mm -hmm. don't normally get in. And then mm -hmm. you also had a lot of players score. Y'all had six different players score. Right. A couple girls got their first career goals. Mm -hmm. uh, Eduardo, Jalen, mm -hmm. uh, finally had a scoring yard. A couple of girls get their first goals of the season. So just talk to me about being able to get players some game action and be able to find get some that, that were finally able to see the ball get in the back of the net. That's always a benefit because, you know, the ones you just mentioned, they're all fairly young. Uh, Jalen has come close in the last few games of scoring off of corner kicks. She's been on the end of it and just missing. So it was really good to see her finally get that finish. Um, you know, Eduarda is a freshman uh, from Portugal and she's been really doing well, but she's still trying to adjust to the American game a little bit. Uh, so it was good for her. Stella, she's always dangerous when she's getting in there and she's, she's, uh, she's been trying to get in to get us a goal, but you know, the biggest thing is, is getting the girls off the bench that, that don't normally see action, um, getting action because they're the, they're the young ladies that are gonna be the future of the program and they've gotta see live action as a freshman. They've gotta be able to get in these games and get the experience against teams, um, you know, that aren't their teammates across from them in practice, that these are, you know, another university. So it was good. It was uh, it was it was a good experience for them. They still there's still some learning 
to be done, um, but I I don't see uh, I don't see an issue with with some of them ever having trouble being a, a contributor to this program. Thank you, Coach, for joining us today again this weekend on Friday. Lady Choctaws about Alabama Huntsville on Saturday. They took on West Alabama. Both of those games are going to be here at Robert B. Longabaugh Field at 1 p.m. Thank you for joining us, Coach. Yeah, enjoyed it. Thanks, Elliot.